Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Emily. <clears throat> I am 35 years old and I live in Sweden. As you see from the title, today will be my USA haul. I came back from my three weeks of vacation in the US this week. Mm, I'm not sure when you will be seeing this, probably the same week. Um, but we had a great time. We, we were at Anaheim and then we drove to Palm Desert and then we hanged a little bit in Anaheim before we went home. We were supposed to go to Phoenix, but because of the heat wave, we skipped that. We ended up um, uh, we ended up leaving Palm Desert uh, a little bit earlier because of the tropical storm Hillary. So, but we we managed to get out of that. So that's fine. Um, I did not buy. In my opinion, I did not buy that much makeup. However, I did buy a lot of hair care stuff. So, but I thought that we could start with the makeup and then perfumes and then hair stuff, I think. So if you want to see what I bought, what I bought in the US, then just please keep on watching. Okay. Um, first I have these two and these are from Woolsey's. This is a pumpkin spice lip mask, and this is a cinnamon sugar sugar scrub from for lips. Mm. I saw this at the Marshalls, and I thought, why not? This really smells like cinnamon, and uh, this really sp smells like pumpkin spice. Let's get the big things out of here. Uh, Oh, sorry. I bought uh, this ABH and this ABH also at Marshalls. Uh, so this looks like this. And this is what the inside looks like. I cannot wait to try that. I think that the, these are discontinued and that's why Marshall has them. So the orange one is volume 3 and the blue one is volume 2. Uh, and this one looks like this. Super pretty. Uh, then I bought this. This is the Colourpop Sage today. And as you can believe, this has uh, green colours. I'm gonna need a new basket. Uh, the Colourpop Wannabe is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So if I look a little bit tired, I'm still a bit jet lagged. Also, my daughter woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. Uh, this looks like this. Really good. And really pretty. Uh, then I have this. This is the color of blue velvet. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should keep, should have kept this for myself, but I rarely use because I rarely use blue. Uh, but I thought that this looked amazing, so I really want to try it out. And if I haven't used it um, that much within six months, I'm going to give it away. Uh, and then I also have Colourpop Fresh Greens, uh, which also has the clear lid. And it looks like this. <clears throat> the perfect grungy green palette for fall, in my opinion. Those were everything. That was everything from. That was everything from Colourpop. Um, and then the last eyeshadow palette I think is this Marsh, uh, BH Cosmetics uh, Los Angeles palette. I have um, some travel palettes from them, and I do like BH Cosmetics. Uh, then I did buy two of my. Powders. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in 05. We don't have this in Sweden. 
I was trying to get a L'Oreal powder that I love, but uh, they have discontinued it. What a horror. Okay, um, I'm just moving in. <clears throat> you've seen <clears throat> you've seen me talk about this before. This is the NYX uh, Thick It Stick It th Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. Uh, I have already opened this. I love this. Uh, then I decided to try this out from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I have a blush in the color Rosé You Slay. I have a contour in Fairlight. I'm, I'm wearing this today. And then I have the, um, the highlight in Champagne. I'm also wearing the Champagne shade today. I bought a blush from Honest Beauty in the shade Peony Pink. And it looks like this. I have one. Yes. I bought one last year, but this was not the same color. I've opened this because I tried it on my vacation. Uh, I did buy the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in number one fair. I um, haven't really tried it, so I can't really say anything about it. Uh, I did buy two... Of my favorite foundations this is the l'oreal infallible 24 fresh wear um, i bought the shades 400 and 390 um, this is my shade that i'm wearing today it's like pearl or something i'm not sure if it yeah pearl and then i actually bought a lighter one which is snow uh, these are not available in sweden the shade range um but i actually got a little bit of a color during my vacation so this will definitely be too light for a while now, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I did buy another Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in Sweet Candy, a Bon Bon Gourmand, but I think Bon Bon Gourmand is the French. French. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I have vanilla. I bought vanilla last year, and I'm halfway through that. So uh, I used this on my vacation, but it smells like candy. Then I bought one new two new concealers. I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in matte in fair warm. Uh, this is also really light, so I have to wait with that. And then uh, I couldn't find Flower Beauty anywhere. So I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. And then when I was at Marshall, I found this. So I think that this, uh, I don't know how old it is, but this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the lightest shade. I have that already, uh, so I know I like it. Uh, then, let me see. This one is not new, so I'm just going to... Uh, then I have... Mascaras. So I bought the L'Oreal Telescopic. Now, which one was op the open one? This one. Uh, the Telescopic, I've used it and I do like it. And then I have two more. And then I, lo then I did buy the Elf Lash and Roll in black that my friend recommended me. And then I bought the Maybelline Sky High because I love it. Uh, also, in the Telescopic Mascara kit I bought for actually from Costco, it came with a two pack with this infallible eyeliner in black from from L'Oreal as well, can't wait to try that. Um, then I actually wanted to try the Elf Camo, K Camo, C Camo, 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 Elf Camo, or oh, whatever, uh, CC Cream. So I bought Fair 100W and Fair 120 Neutral. Um, these are really light, so I have to wait a little bit. Uh, then I actually bought a blush from Rare Beauty. Uh, this is um soft pinch in, in encourage um, i love this formula but it's a little bit uh, of a too big of a i should i would have loved that this was like half the size uh, but can't wait to try that and then for my sephora points i show choose the amica dream routine overnight hydration treatment for my hair i choose two of them and then for my birthday gift at Sephora, 
I bought this Ilia set with a multi stick and a limitless lash mascara. Uh, mascara is just a regular black one, I think. Yeah. And um, this is a, a gorgeous looking uh, blush. Haven't tried Ilia before, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, yes. Uh, then I bought the Maybelline Cheek Heat in Fuchsia Spark. I love this formula. And then I bought two new uh, brushes from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Mm, this is a little bit banged up, but I have the shade Current Jam. It looks like this. And then I have the shade Floral Majority, and this is what I'm wearing on my face today. Mm. And then I bought the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer again, uh, because I have some large pores, uh, and I do remember really liking that. Mm-hmm. And I bought, a back, uh, bought another one, not the backup, another one of the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in tan lines because mine, that I, I have wearing it today, mine looks like this. So, was that really every makeup item? No. Uh, then I bought this Stila Glisten and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Playa. Uh, cannot wait to try that. And then, oh, I almost forgot about this. I bought the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow I Love You A Latte. Um, that I saw for $3, so I just had to have it. And I do believe that that's, that was all of the makeup items I bought. So let's move into some... Um, Perfume and skincare. Uh, I bought this. This is the Vanilla and Co. Clean It Zero Foam Cleanser. Whipped gel cream transforms into rich and moisturizing foam, cleanses and refreshes the skin. I think I have tried this and I think that I really liked it. So I bought one new. And then I bought a Britney Spears perfume. This is the Britney Spears Curious. Found it at Marshalls for $10. I'm wearing it today and I do really do really like the smell of that. Uh, oh. And then I just bought two deodorants, nothing exciting there. And then let's see. Then I came across a brand on Ulsta that I had to Google. Um, because this is supposed to be a dupe duping brand for designer. Perfumes. So it's called Finery, and this this one is called Sweet on the outside, um, and it says smells like Madagascar vanilla, Tonka bean, and smoked vetiver. Now I can't remember what this is supposed to. Yeah, this is supposed to dupe the Billie Eilish perfume, and I love Billie Eilish perfume. I have a sample of it. And uh, yes, I love this. Then we have just get the box, uh, magnetic candy. Smells like sugared violet, pink pomelo, pink pomelo, pomelo, and cotton candy. And this is supposed to dupe uh, the product, product candy. Mm. Oh, love and I love the bottles as well. They look really pretty. And the last one is not another cherry. And this one smells like wild cherry, Turkish rose, almond, amaretto, and this is obviously a dupe for Tom Ford. I have a sample of another dupe for Tom Ford that I really love the smell of on. And I think that this smells spot on. Really, really good. I thought I think that I paid like $27 for this, which is like 270 kroner or like 300 kroner. Each, and I think that that is it's a good price. I wore one of them during my vacation. It has it has a really long staying power. 
Then I bought some hair care. So first I actually, I bought this like silk bonnet or silk hat that you're supposed to sleep with. But I tried it yesterday and I think it's a little bit, it's not too small, but I need to like figure out how, how I do with that. And then I bought two packs of a microfiber towel turban thing. Uh, I have the other one in my bathroom. Um, because I really needed microfiber because as you can see now my hair is really like this side is a bit mess a mess but you see my ringlets of my uh, curly hair and that is because I'm I'm trying to be really good at my curly girl moment um yes then I really wanted to try out curl smith so I went to Ulta and I checked them out and um, I bought a few stuff. Uh, let's start with the shampoo and conditioner. I bought the Essential Moisture Cleanser and the conditioner. This is open. This is what I used yesterday when I washed my hair and it is a part of why my hair looks like this nice. Really do really like it. I've used it once. So. And then I have the Curl Conditioning Oil In Cream. This is a leave-in cream. Um, that I tried yesterday. This is a smaller size. I do, did really like it. And then I'm also wearing today or yesterday the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Uh, I do really like souffles. I like gels as well, but I do li really like souffles. Um, and uh, I did really like this. And then we have some more here. Then I bought this and tried it during my vacation. This is the Kinky Curly Original, original Curling Custard. Um, uh, I liked this and I can't wait to try it with my water and my diffuser. That's a bit, bit nasty. And then since I didn't have any hair products with me, I bought the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream and Curl Talk Sculpting Gel that I used during my vacation. My daughter use this uh, she's uh, three and a half and uh, she loved it she loved the smell of it so i'm actually going to put that in the bathroom for her and then i bought this and this is the aunt jackie's curl lala defining curl custard um matilda didn't like the smell of this so this i'm going to keep for myself but i opened this during my vacation as well because as i said i didn't have any any products with me um, but I did really like that oh I forgot to talk about one perfume I'm just going to grab some more uh, then I bought, bought two a two pack of this this is a continuous spraying bottle um, I have one in my bathroom now I love it then I bought this from Curlsmith this is the In Shower Style Fixer Styling Gel for Curly and Coily Hair, Stronghold, High Definition Anti Frizz. I'm not going to open this now since I have so many open, but cannot wait to try that. Uh, then I bought this. This is the SIM Classic Curling Jelly. Um, yes. Can you see I'm on a curly, curly journey? Then I bought this. This is the Sauce Beauty Curl Custard in Creme, Creme Brulee. Um, cannot wait to try that either. And then I bought another one of the Kinky Curly one because uh, they don't sell this in Sweden and I needed to have it. And then I bought this. This is the B Blueberry Bliss. Rep reparative leave-in conditioner from Curls. Um, cannot wait to try that. And then the last thing in this is the Tree Hut Peach Sorbet she Sugar Scrub. Um, this smelled divine. I didn't have the chance to use it on my vacation. Uh, 
but oh my god i'm not sure if this brand is available in sweden uh, but i'm going to put this in my bathroom and then the last thing is this and this is from imaginary authors and this is a perfume that is called a whiff of a waffle cone uh, this is not available to purchase and ship to sweden so i purchased this purchased it, it online and then i had it delivered to my shipper to address um this is supposed to smell like vanilla, heavy cream, salt, caramel, am amiris, orgeat, sagon, cinnamon, and ice cream shop. Um, let me see. I love it. Hmm, I love vanilla scents. So, and then I got a little sample from them. It's what well, it's the soft lawn. Now I can only smell the this one. And you know what? Oh my god. It smells so good. If you live in the US, I can really recommend and like vanilla scents, I can really recommend this. It was my friend Linda that told me to buy it. I bought one for her as well. So yeah. Um and this this was it. For a lot of people, this might seem like a lot of makeup, but I remember when I used to buy like a lot, a lot, and I'm glad that I kept it down somewhat because I need to use up my makeup. That is basically it. Um, but I'm happy with all of my hair products, and I'm happy with all of my my perfumes, and yeah, can't wait to like start fall with with new stuff. If there's anything you want to see more in depth, like swatches or like a look with something, please leave a comment down below. Um, I will probably try to film before work someday. Yeah, let's try that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And until I make another one, you guys, please take care. Bye.